Decision logic is one of the tools you have at your disposal on iRise for visualizing the business rules behind a proposed application. In this video, we'll show you how to build a functional decision that drives branching navigation in an iRise simulation. We need to simulate a validation scenario in which we check a user's input in a profile creation form against the existing records in a datasheet. Depending on whether a match is found, the user will either be sent to a customer dashboard page or she'll be sent to a password recovery page. Let's take a look at the current state of our Create Profile screen. The form has two views, one for submitting the initial data, and one that will be displayed only if no matches are found in the customer's datasheet. Clicking Next in the second view will save a new record in the datasheet and navigate to the customer dashboard page. We'll build the validation logic into the decision. Decisions always use data as the criterion for determining which path the navigation will follow. In this case, we'll add the user input captured on the clipboard and compare that with the records in the customer's datasheet. Specifically, we'll use the email address. Sending the output of this comparison to the decision widget completes the criteria side of the equation. Now we can add the decision branches. One branch will lead to the user already exists page, which will contain a link to a password recovery screen. The other branch will do two things. First, it will set a variable on the clipboard that we'll use to control the alternate views on the Create Profile screen, and then it will navigate back to the Create Profile screen. To set the variable, we'll create a new field label on the clipboard called New User and give it a value of Yes. Now we can define the rules. In the Branches panel, let's give the second branch a proper name, then we'll click the Edit Rules link. Since the rules are evaluating whether or not a matching record was found in the datasheet, We'll choose is not empty for the first branch and is empty for the second branch. Back on the create profile screen, now we can set the views criteria for the dynamic display. We'll drag the clipboard widget to the display. This is where a new user variable comes into play. In the rules editor, we can leave the value for the first rule empty and for the second rule, we'll type yes. Before we test the decision logic in the reader, let's copy an email address from the customer's datasheet. Now we can launch the page in our browser. Let's paste the email address into the form and submit it to see what happens. Since a match was found, the user already exists page opens. Let's go back and see if the alternate branch works as expected. This time we'll enter some random data and submit the form. The page refreshes with a no matches found view displayed. Perfect. This is just one of several videos that cover conditional logic in iRise. If you haven't watched the others, you might want to check them out. Watch them all, and you'll be visualizing business logic in iRise in no time. Thanks for watching.